Hi and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. Today we would be discussing the problem print leaves from pre-order traversal of BST. So let us first understand what is BST. So BST is a tree, okay, or it is the full form is binary search tree where there is a root and there is a left and there is a right present where the left would be small than the root and the right would be greater than the root okay and what do you mean by pre-order traversal pre-order traversal means that we would first visit the root then the left part and then the right part of it okay pre means you can remember this like like so see the main thing is head so you can say that pre means it should be done before the head should be done before then comes the left part then comes the right part post means the head should be come coming after this so left would come first then right then post in order means left head and then right okay this is how you can remember pre-order post order and in order okay so you are given a pre-order traversal of bst and you need to print the leaf nodes without building the tree so you are just given the pre-order traversal. So presuppose this is uh, two and one. Okay. So the root node is two. Okay. Then the left part is one. That is why there is only one leaf node. That is this one. That is why the answer to this is one itself. Let us move to the next example. Okay. So the next example is three, two, and one. This means that three is the root. 2 is the left part of it and 4 is the right part of it and these two being the leaf node. Okay. So, how to solve this problem? To solve this problem, if you just evaluate the test cases, this is not enough to get to the answer. Like you won't really get the intuition to answer it. So, I have taken a bigger BST and we would write the pre-order. Okay, traversal. So pre-order means what? Let us quickly revise those concepts. Pre-order means the root and the left and then the right. So first we would visit the root that is 8. Okay. So that would be 8. Then left that is 3. Okay. Then root is done. Through 3 now acts as a root. So three's left is one. So one would get, okay. Now one acts as a root, but there is no left nor right. So now three's left is done. If three's left is done, then three's right should be done after that. So six would get printed. Then now six acts as a root. So root is done. Root's left part is to be done. So four. Now four acts as a root. Okay. So now, 4 does not has any left or right. So we would do that. 6 left is done. So we should do the right. That is the 7. So we would write this as 7. Now 8's left side is done. 8 is done. Left side is done. Now comes the right side. So we have 10. Now 10 acts as the root. So 10's left is not present. Only right is present. So I can say that after 10's left is done right is to be done so 14 is to be done now 14 acts as a root so roots left is to be done that is 13 okay fair enough now if you observe that what is this this is root okay then we come to 3 1 6 4 7 what is this this is nothing but the left side of it, 31647, 31647, this is the left side of it, okay, and this is the right part of it, okay. Now, see again, this narrows down, okay. Now, this thing is the root of this, okay. This thing is the root, 3 is the root, and 1 is the left hand side. Okay, one is small r. So I will just write left. 
and 647 is the right part of it and this is so r i g r i g so that and this is rho so if you observe a pattern here you would observe this pattern that whenever we are moving from left to right this value is increasing same way this value is increasing else in all other condition this value is decreasing okay like see after 10 we are moving to the left part of it so this value is again increasing okay so left is not there so right part remains so what is the so how can we really drive to the result so now when will we start a right side okay when will we really start a right child we would start a right child like when did we start off with this term okay like when did this thing come into picture when this thing come into picture when this whole left side is done so the right side would come into picture when the left side is done and we know this that when this value is small okay v of left v or value of left is smaller than value of right then this is a transition point from left to right and when the left part is done then only the right part would start so after this 7 has ended then only we are going to 10 and we know this okay and this even if you don't observe this this has a proper reason that the right side would have a value greater and the right left side would have a value smaller. This is how this thing happens. This is why this thing happens. Okay, fair enough. So now we can say that, okay, so if you see that we are completing the whole right hand, left hand side, then only we are completing the right hand side. And the value visited at the end are the leaf nodes. Then only we are going to this side. So we can safely say that whenever we receive a value, value is greater than the last part, then we can safely say that last is a leaf. I can say that or not? Yes, I can say that. Absolutely. Okay. So, before inserting a value okay so the algorithm is very much simple we would simply start traversing okay we would start keeping the values whenever we see a value current value greater than the last value we would take out the last value and say this is the leaf i can say that okay now this is simple so now i have the algorithm now what are the data structures that are involved in this so I have some requirements. Okay. So I need a data structure where I can insert elements. Okay. I need a data structure where I can access the last part, last inserted element. Okay. And I can remove the last inserted element. I can remove the last. So if these all are the requirements, then which is the best data structure that you can move forward? The best data structure is stack. This is how the stack is coming into picture. And I think that how stack is coming into picture, visualizing the BST is okay, but directly talking about stack is not okay. You should have a proper intuition. You should move forward with requirements. Okay, because if you don't lay down the requirements to solve a particular problem, okay, and then design a data structure or then design or think of a data structure, then every time no one would tell you that this problem needs to be taught with stack. You need to boil down these all requirements and according to those requirements, you need to have the data structure that is the most suitable one. And this intuition is absolutely very important. So if you think that this intuition was important and this intuition was lacking in your understanding, Feel free to comment on this video so that my work could be justified. Fair enough. So let us move forward. Now we do have the algorithm. Now we would simply iterate over it. Whenever we see a lower value, we would pop out that lower value. We would say that this is the leaf and we would keep popping out. Okay. And this is done.
So, and the very first node would be the leaf node. It's very easy to guess. Root node. The very first node would be the root node. Lest would be divided into this. Okay. So, now let us move to the implementation. Observing the pattern is done. Observing the pattern and then concluding the data structures or the algorithms needed is also done. So, the next remaining thing is the implementation. Let us move to that. So, I would make it as A because I am more accustomed to it. And then I would make it as lowercase m. And then I would start move forward. And then I would move forward. Okay. So, we have a vector int of answer to store the answer and to return it as a vector of int. Okay. And then we have a stack of int. You can use a vector if you are on C++ because accessing the last inserted element and popping out has the same time complexity as vector. Vector has one more advantage that it gives you the indexing also. So I would push the root itself. Okay, so that the stack is not empty and we don't need to check it again and again. Now, we would start the iteration from the first element. Okay, not the zeroth element. Okay, so if we, if we talk about the one indexing, it is this second element. Okay, so if the current element is less than the last inserted element. Okay, if the current element is less than the last inserted element, then it is fine. We would simply push that. Okay, so if you observe this. Then see, 3 and then 1. It is fine. We would simply push that. If that is not the scenario, that means A of i is greater than st dot top. Okay, this is the scenario. Okay, else condition would cater this. If this is the scenario, first we would store it in a temp variable, st dot top. Okay, then we would remove it from that stack because that that is used we don't need to we don't need to process the same node again okay now if the stack is not empty okay if the stack is not empty and a of i is greater than st dot top this means that there is a transition point present so first we would remove all the elements that is smaller than that okay so while st dot empty and an a of i is greater than a speed dot top element. Okay. Then st dot pop that value. Okay. And then answer dot push back the temporary variable. Okay. And this should be done after we have popped out all this. Okay, after we have popped out everything, and then we would push the current one. Okay, after that, you can move to the right side. Of it. Okay, so after everything is done, we have the answer in a temp variable, we can move that. Okay, at the end, so at the end, we would just have the leaf node. Similarly, the first node was the root node. So the end node would be the leaf node. Simple. Okay. So this dot push back the value at the last index. And then we would return the value at index. Okay. Now let us just compile and then see how many errors are we making. So this should be as answer. Yes. Okay, I forgot to change the values. Let us compile them again. Okay, we are getting correct output in the sample test case. Now let us try to submit this and see. And yes, we got an AC. That's it for today. Thank you and have a nice day.